going to Universal today so we've been really looking forward to this. We don't go many times when we do come. We're going to do a lift from the hotel lobby. Like Lyft's just another like company like Uber so it's L-Y-F-T and for some reason they always, once you sign up because we use them in Vegas and stuff as well, once you sign up they continually send you offers and you just download the app and then link a card to, to the account. Yeah. So we're going to um, head off now because we're running a bit later than we would like. Um, like I said, we're off to Universal Studios, so we shall see you when we get there. We just had the best lift ride ever, like proper in resting. Yeah. Definitely do, definitely do. A, a, like a lift or an Uber. Uber, at this point in time, Uber have got a dedicated drop-off point. Um, lift and other ride shares, they don't have like, a dedicated drop-off point. You've got to go like around. It's not, it's not that much worse, but it's just it says all other ride share. But I mean, for me still, lifts, lifts for me is the better one because of the options for the, the vouchers. What's the other one called? Just Universal Studios? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we'll do Islands of Adventure first because all the Harry Potter stuff's in this one. So we're going to do there first because it's the bigger, like the busier one. Like the Hagrid's motorbike thing's like 90 minute wait already. So we're going to just... Just turn 10. Yeah. So well, we're going to buy like, the, the, their version of the Fast Passes. But on, else? you can only do... It's, they're not, the Fast Pass doesn't let you do Fast Pass for everything. And one of the ones that doesn't let you do is Hagrid's motorbike. And that's the only one and that's, we really wanted. Yeah, it's the only one we're going to probably try and get it on for. So everything else is just yeah. normal. Everything else, take like, time-wise, everything else is like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, some are like five minutes. So I think basically everyone just runs straight to Harry Potter. So our advice would be. Well, we'll give you the advice after. Well, I'm going to give you it now. Well, we might not be right. But I think it is. My advice would be get here as early as you can, which is basically an obvious one. But just come to Harry Potter. Like, if you want to do like the them rides, just come here first. Get these ones out of the way, and then you're not spending the rest of your day looking to see what times there are. Just join the queue, get the ride out of the way, and then go and enjoy the rest of the day in the park. And there's the hope, which I'm still not doing. so good i love those kind of rides but like because it's like themed as heavy as it is it's just absolutely class because you've got such a you already know like what like you've already got an affiliation with the characters and stuff Mark, how we? mark's going in the queue for camp america captain america i mean yeah i'm good i'm good <laughs> We're going on Kong. Right. Kong was so good. It was much better than I actually expected. We didn't get a chance to go last time because the wait was just far too long, but honestly, definitely go on it. from their native periods, ensuring long, healthy lives. We're going this way. No.
armour on. <laughs> Which is obvious, but I was just taking a quick little snip. Are you a bit wet, Mark? I feel a bit wet. Turn I around. Said, before I started, I said... Turn around. Well, I don't think you can see. Nah. Can I really see? It's not that bad. I said before when on, I was like, oh, rule four won't get wet. I got wet on the first splash. It's funny how you just jump from one to the other. So we've basically done Jurassic Park the reverse and we're now coming into Harry Potter. So we're now going over to um, was it just Universal Studios? Yeah. Hey, okay. So, thank you very much. Oh, Jimmy Fallon. We're going to see. 
Home town, we made in favourite city. We're going in October. He thinks. What the freaking hell, man? What is it? <laughs> Where would it want you to go, George? You to New York? Possibly to New York. So I've just been on the Fast and the Furious and I'm so sure and I'm always so I know I'm having to try I've got to chop my head off to get you. Um so went on the Fast and Furious, I mean it was it it it's pretty cack to be honest. Um it was I don't know. It's not as good. It's just not for a few. It should not be that good, yeah. it isn't actually that good. We've read a few reviews and stuff and everyone said like oh it's not really that good. But for it to be a brand new ride. Of quite a brand new, I'm just like a couple of year old, whatever it is. But I mean, it was it's, it's pretty rubbish, like. But I suppose it's if you're a fan of the film, you might enjoy it. It was but, only 10 minutes, so we decided we'd yeah. just give it a go. I mean, it was probably 10 minutes, it was actually quite accurate to get in. Um, and the ride itself was what? Can I have my eyebrows back? But I can't get you in. Uh, the ride itself was about five minutes, uh, but just wasn't very good. Like even the way like it looked on the screen and stuff, it just didn't like it just didn't work. Like it just didn't fit the way the screen was, the way on the on the the party bus. But the Jimmy Fallon one was really Jimmy good. Fallon's wicked. So we're now heading over to Simpsons World, which is I think that might be it over there. Not too sure. Crusty Land. <laughs> Crust, Land. Can't really remember what's over there, but we're going there now. Uh, here is King's Cross. All the Londony bits, and there's the skinny bus of Harry Potter. Which, as you can see, you can go on. Just for photos. Yeah, it is just for yeah, photos. Yeah, just across in that bit as well, uh, it's Trafalgar Square. Just across in that bit, and all is uh, diagonal. Yeah, it's not Trafalgar Square. Is it not? No, it's got a line in Trafalgar Square. Oh, it's a square of something. Um, and then yeah. across there is uh, diagonal. But we'll be going there after. Yeah, we'll be going across there afterwards. We've just been on. We've just done loads, haven't we? Yeah, we've, we've kind of done a few things in a row. We've done. Um, Transformers, Minions. We haven't done Shrek. No. We didn't do Shrek, but it's, I think it's all the much of a muchness. We've just much done muchness. much of a muchness. I'm taking a picture. One minute. He thinks I'm taking a picture. Oh, good old Central Park. Let's let's go in, Mark, and see if it's anything like the real deal. It certainly has a resemblance. Five million times. 
New York is like one of my most favourite places to go. And Mark's really trying to convince us to go back again this year, which I would absolutely love to, but sometimes sense has to come in. I know, but you know, we always say like YOLO and all of that. But it's just when I walk through this little Central Park, it really does make you get that nostalgia. And the fact that we're going back in November. The nostalgia in this, doesn't it, Mark? He never let up. Never let up. So the time is setting a little bit now. It's half past five. We've been here since ten quarter to ten. No, it would have been quarter to ten. So we're just going to head down to the Harry Potter Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Diagon Alley, and then we're going to head back. I think. Um, Get another lift. Yeah, head back. Go through City Walk just before we head out. See if there's any goodies we can take back with. with. Are you all ready for it? Oh, Mark's going the other way. Are you ready for it? Oh. Welcome to Diagonally. Honestly, these sections are just... It is insane. They're the most themed looking. Because I think they wrote their own little land, aren't they? Yeah. But, you oh. Like you're just in diet, diet, diet. It's amazing in here. That's what you're saying, eh? Diagon Alley. Everything's not as good as Flight of Passage. But back in the day, like when, back in the day, when we, when we like four years ago, when we came here and we'd done the Harry Potter rides, we thought they were just absolutely incredible. Whereas now the, the um, Flight of Passage has seem as spectacular. Nah, Flight of Passage has just completely and utterly just took over everything in terms of what a ride needs to virtual. be now. Yeah. It needs to put every, they, that set the standard. I think the best one here was that Jimmy Fallon one. Uh, the Jimmy Fallon one was probably the best one. Oh, but, the Mardi Gras. I think oh, the Mardi Gras was start. But that's now set the, like, the benchmark now for any ride that they need to do here. Um, so I've been shouting out now because Mardi Gras part of those party things on. Oh, that's good. which is somewhere we've been dying to go to. So, really cheap, actually really cheap. About $10, wasn't 10, it? $10, $10 or something? something. Probably three donuts. So, they're all vegan. So you got Oreo, they do an original glazed vegan, non-vegan. That's obviously the vegan one. And then they do, and they do a vegan version vegan. of the voodoo donut, which is the, like the classic staple one where the steak is through the 
but that's like a, a pretzel, pretzel stick or yeah. something. So that's so you could get non-vegan options of this, especially, and you could get one of these Oreo ones with peanut butter. But we decided just to get all vegan, obviously, but options. All of the all and no of them peanut butter. Really cheap. There was no really expensive ones in there. I think the Voodoo ones probably Even the, the most are like three dollars seventy-five. But they're mad, like, they're really really good value for money, and they come in a cool box. Yeah, cool so box that we we'll get to keep. We're now going to eat them. Well, Mark's going to start it out vowing them before we get on the bus, but ak taxi. Hello, so we've just come back to the room now. We've just getting back in from Universal Studios. We've decided, what's the time? Oh, man. This is just after half past eight. It's half past eight, just after. Um, we got to the park a quarter to ten, and like I said, we're just getting back. So we've decided, I know it sounds very old person like, but we're just going to stay in for the rest of the night and just sort ourselves out. I literally have blisters, I think, on 50 to 75% of my toes. Not from today specifically, just the last couple of days where you have treks and miles, which everyone knows you do in the parks. Um, and that's why you should bring some very comfortable shoes. But I think I have a should I have a problem in general because I've always got bad feet. But usually it's because they swell up, um, and I get blisters, mostly swelling. But today in this time it's just blisters. We've got vegan voodoo donuts, um, so we're just gonna have them. We brought a coffee back from the main central area, and we're just gonna like I say chill for the rest of the night because we're up early again tomorrow because we're going somewhere else that we haven't been to yet since we've been here in Orlando so you will find that out so join us tomorrow for our little another day of extravaganzas and another day of running around getting more blisters on me toes so I thought I would just come in and check in about these donuts that we got from Voodoo Donuts the vegan ones I've already taken a bite that's why I thought I'd come on but honestly nothing you want to say made sure we don't know what they do not taste any different and they're actually bloody delicious next one this one actually weighs a bit of a ton and I don't think there's any graceful way of eating this one but I'll try Mm. It is nice, but I think because of the Oreo, it's got on the top. It actually makes it a little bit more drier, but it's still lovely. The glazed one so far is her favorite. So this is the Voodoo Donut one. Let's try this one. Mm. So nice. lovely that one it's really nice that one but I would actually say the glaze glaze one is you want to try that one if you go in there definitely get the glaze one and I think it was like $1.59 which I can't kind of believe it's such a good price any donuts that I've ever had from a specialty like that has always been much more expensive so definitely give you do donuts a go especially if you after vegan treats because there's not that many around the parks here.